Hey everybody, welcome back to the 30 day wedding photography crash course series. I am Josiah Blizzard and we are going through how to design albums and share album proofs uh, with your clients uh, and the best tools to use that on a uh, no budget option and on a uh, expensive option. Um, obviously the expensive option is probably going to be the best option, um, but I'm going to take you through the free version first. I've already uploaded some of my photos that I want to design this album with through Kiss Designer. You can go to kiss.us and sign up for an account. Um, I'm not sure if you still have to verify if you are a photographer or not. Uh, you can sign up for a free account once you're approved. You can get in and you can actually use their designer for free to design all of your um, all of your albums. And it's pretty it's pretty simple. The downside to using Kiss is that it takes a uh, a lot of time to load your images in. I think I imported, uh, you know, 150 photos into Kiss's designer yesterday, and it took over an hour because uh, I'm uploading these files to the internet, and it's just it's just a slow process. So that's the downside um, to using this, uh, it is, and it's not super fast either to to go through and swap images out. But they do have a whole bunch of options and uh, templates and uh, layouts and that sort of thing, which is really great. Okay, so after you've uploaded your images into uh, Kiss Designer, you'll see cover options on the left hand side, leather or linen. You can select whichever one you want to select. The linens are cheaper. I'm not going to go over pricing albums or anything like that in this in this episode. That's for an entirely different episode, which you may have already watched. But you have linen and leather. I'm just going to stick with leather here. Um, and then you have the option for a cameo window. Uh, and a customized engraving. For the Cameo window, you're just gonna drag an image from slider up top to place within this little box here, and you can drag that box around and uh, adjust it as needed. Great, so that looks pretty good. And we'll cl click engraving, uh, change this from Cardo to Winterthur, John, and Amy. Great, so the cover is done. Going to the next page, I change these to, I change this to white, and I leave front logo debossing as off and then I go to the next page. Okay, so designing uh, designing an album, it's very simple. All you're going to do is start dragging images into the page, into the spreads. It's that easy. As you add more images, it changes the layout and it changes what layout options are available to you based on the amount of images that are within the spread. Uh, it makes designing really, really simple. Um, and I'll typically start with um, four images, all of which are details, uh, like this already looks pretty nice. I want to change the shoe shot up here. Like that looks pretty good to me. Um, I may leave that. I may leave it like just like this. I like the way that looks to add a new page. You're just going to click add in the top left, creates a new page. We'll move on to getting ready. And I think you can click. Yes, yeah, so you can click on an image, hold control and then select another image. Uh, and uh, it'll add those images in there. Or you can just drag down, but you see what I just did? It actually kept the previous two selected and re-imported them. So to delete an image, all you're going to do is hover over an image that you want to delete, and this little box should pop up in the top left, hit the trash can icon, and it'll go away. That simple. Drag that photo in, we'll drag that photo in, and honestly, a 20 page album is really small. Uh, it does not fit a whole lot of images. So to tell the entire story of the day, we'll typically design them two albums and they can upgrade to the larger album or they can choose to stick with the, um, the smaller album and uh, either way is okay with us. But we just like to give them options. And you can see down at the bottom, we can adjust our layout. So I'm gonna try and find layout option that works, that works well for this, uh, number of photos. All right, so that's a basic spread there. Let's move on to the next. And we're looking at the first look. All right, so the first look, I'm gonna choose a number of images here. We'll select this one, that one. You know what, we'll deselect that. We'll select this one instead. And then I'm gonna move into choosing a number of portraits as well. Awesome, all right, so that spread is done. We'll move on to the next one. Um, I, there's really no rhyme or reason to the way that I design albums. Um, pretty much my process looks something like just not 
repeating the same layouts all the time, right? You want to keep it, you want to keep it varied. Uh, there's no, I, there's no good way to design an album. It's just, it's just guess and check. Uh, it's going to, Deter it's going to be determined based on the number of images you have available. I mean, at least that's how I feel about it. It's going to change based on how you shot the wedding. It's also going to change based on how many pages you have available to you. Um, personally, like I think the ideal album size is somewhere around 50, 50 pages or so. That seems to be a pretty good spot for me to be able to tell the full story of the wedding day. I like to keep my, my spreads very clean and simple. Like if I could, I would leave the spread just like this uh, and and that looks really really good to me uh, however I know that based on the client only having 20 pages they're not going to want to have only one image per page on a few of these spreads so we're already going into pages 9 and 10 we've already we've already ha gone halfway through the album pretty much we'll add in some bridal party for this next the ne this next spread and for 20 pages I typically will only include the full bridal party um, along with uh, the bridesmaids and groomsmen all on one spread. Um, I typically don't have enough room in these uh, albums when they don't upgrade their album to have more than one spread for a uh, bridal party because there's just so many events that you have to squeeze in uh, that it becomes um, it just becomes a little little too much to have uh, a separate spread for the guys and a separate spread for the girls. Like I can't shrink the image down, it feels like, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I much prefer to use um, a different software called Fundy Designer. Fundy um, gives you far more control, just user capability. You're able to adjust sizes and rotation, and there's just a lot you can do with it. It also doubles as other print product examples. There's a whole bunch of things built into Fundy Designer that makes it worth getting. It is, I believe, like a $500 one-time payment but trust me it is so much quicker and easier to use but as far as album designs go i'm not even going to show you this entire thing because it's it's um it's going to take too long and it's going to be really boring um i essentially i just go through and uh i just make sure the spreads look different that it's varying up imagine if you were turning page by page what this would look like as you were opening it and you just want to tell the story of the day so i always try and include details, getting ready, first looking portraits, some of their individual portraits, the bridal party, some family photos, a full uh, telling of the ceremony. Typically it's going to be one spread. And then from there you go and you do um, additional portraits or you do toasts, that sort of thing. So I'll show you what I do for the ceremony here. I just explained it a little bit, but it's just in guess and check guys. It's all I'm doing. I'm just, I pull an image in, I decide if I like it or not, and then I take it out if I don't like it. Uh, it's that easy. So you can see we have a whole bunch of images here. I'm going to put this one on the right because I think this one stands alone on its own pretty well. And I actually don't like this template on the left, so we're going to alter this layout once more. And we'll adjust the kiss photo. I think I have a vertical in here of the kiss. Oh, maybe I don't. But we did shoot wide, so that looks much better that way in a wider image. And you can always zoom in a little bit if you need to. Really simple to use. You guys play around with it. You'll get the hang of it. Um, it's not that difficult. Um, so that is Kiss Designer. That's all I'm going to show you in Kiss. You can have some fun yourself playing around with it if you want. I used to use this, like I said, I don't use this anymore because um, it's just too slow for me and I need to be able to, to go through these album designs pretty quickly. Using Kiss, the way that you can send this off to your client um, is really simple as well. If you want to send this to your client, right? all you got to do is go to this little share arrow here, view slideshow link, and you can copy you can copy the link and and paste it in an email for your client to view. You click next and they're able to flip through as if this were an album. Looks pretty good to me. Love this spread. We just spent like two minutes designing this and I think this looks pretty good. Um, so that's all we have there. Uh, you can add your own branding and logo up here. And honestly, what we do, our, our process um, using Fundy is a little bit different. So let's open that up real quick. And I'll link to where you can purchase Fundy Designer Suite down in the description below for you guys. Don't take my word and recommendation as end-all be-all. There might be a different software out there that works better for you guys. So I would suggest trying things out. We used Kiss Designer for a really long time in our business until we started selling a lot of albums. And then it became too slow and our demand went up and we needed to 
we needed to be able to design albums quicker, easier, and share them simpler. So that's where Fundy came in and um, made our life so much easier. All right, so you are in Fundy Designer right now, okay? So let's um, let's just do a quick look at somebody's uh, somebody's design here. This is a uh, this is a 46 page design. All right, you can see all the spreads at a bird's eye view um, within within Fundy here. And what you can do even is within their project, you can create new albums. Um, and you can select the different albums. Like I mentioned, there's, we send off a 20 page album and then we send off a larger album. Look how much they have in the 20 page album. You can see how much they're missing um, based on their larger album here. Look at all the extra images that we're able to add when we're able to upsell our clients on a larger album. They're missing out on so many. In this album, there's a total of 122 images for this 46 page. In the 20 page, there's only 57 images. So they've they have doubled their images by upgrading their their album. By obviously they doubled their album, they're gonna get double the amount of photos. To design an album, you click new album. I have my templates as Kiss Books. That's where I'm ordering from. There's a whole bunch of other uh, album companies in here like Miller's um, and WHCC and that sort of thing. But Kiss is what I use. No cover. I don't select. And we'll do test uh, test album. How about that? Save changes. Works the same exact way. You're going to grab the image. You can select uh, multiple by holding uh, command or control down on your keyboard. And you're just going to select a few. And then you can drag it right into the spread here. And you can see that a whole bunch of images dropped right into the spread. We're going to swap that. You swap images by simply just dragging them to the proper spot in the layout. Um, to change the layout, click the layouts button in the top left. And you can see all these layouts pop up. You can select the one that fits best for you guys. So we'll select this one. How about we drag this here? No, that doesn't look right. Okay, well then you just swap the image out and I'll trade it for this one. Looks okay. We'll go to the next page, add spread. It works almost the exact same way as KISS does, except it loads far faster. It's not internet based. It's all based on your computer software. Uh, so everything just moves so much smoother. Um, I can also add in, like, let's say I want to put this picture in here and I didn't want it to be a horizontal. I want it to be a vertical. Well, I can adjust that by hitting this O button here and changing it to vertical and it crops it to the proper aspect ratio. Same thing with horizontal. You can adjust it that way, or you can keep it back to three, two or original. Um, same thing goes with vertical images, change it to horizontal. You want to focus on Apollo, cutest dog ever, uh, then you can, you can do that. So it's really, really simple to use, uh, really simple to use. We love using it. So I would suggest if you're going to, if you're going to make an investment in an album designer or software or something along those lines, Fundy designer is the way to go. Um, there's a whole bunch of other features in here as well. Uh, when we go in and share this to, uh, our client to get their feedback, um, We'll export out all of these images. And the way you do that is there's this little export button in the top right hand corner. Click export, export for proofer. This will output um, lower res images and we'll just we'll find the album that we want to put it in. You can see we separate this into multiple multiple sections. Here's a 20 page. Here's a 46 page. This is the proofs. Um, and they obviously they went with the 46 page because we have revisions and final in here. So this one through 46 is the proof. The way we share it with them, we'll export those out and then we'll go to onlinealbumproofing.com. This this is part of the purchase with Fundy Design. I think this is actually, it said pro enhancement on the front. We pay a, a yearly fee for this. Um, it just makes the process of uh, sharing our, our images, our designs with clients so much easier. Um, these are all the albums that have been approved. These are the albums that uh, have not been approved yet, uh, and that's totally cool. But we'll, so we'll go in here and actually let's look at um, we'll look at Ian and Kate's album. So you're gonna upload your images in here, uh, upload revision. You can select files and upload. I'm not gonna do that, but it does store revisions of the projects too. So I could upload revision two, and I can always go back to revision one if I need it um, to view their to view their album. You're gonna you're gonna click on this here, this link. You can also share this link with your client when it's time for them to proof the album. 
And then they can actually just go and flip through. You can see the pages physically turn. Um, they look high res. You uploaded lower res images, so not good for printing, but good for online viewing. Um, or you can have them click the play button in the bottom left. I believe you can actually set this to music as well, and they can listen to music while they're flipping through the album. It does move a little bit quick, though, I find, so I just tell them to use the arrow keys. I believe the arrow keys work. Um, now, if they want to request changes, all they got to do is click the request changes button. It takes them to a new page and they can scroll down. If they like this spread, they can click approve pages and it approves it. Or they can go in and they can click the uh, comment box and this little number pops up. And let's say they wanted to change this image here uh, with uh, replace this image with image number 382 from online gallery. We always refer them to their online gallery. The album design happens after their gallery has been delivered. So they're able to then reference the online gallery and the file numbers we've left in the gallery uh, as their reference to changes that they want to make in the album. That way we know exactly what image they're talking about and we can easily find that image within the gallery and quickly replace it within Fundy Designer. Uh, and let's say like, let's say Ian and Kate approved this album design. They can click finished up here. Uh, after they approve all of these pages, they can click finished. It'll be sent off to us. Then we'll go back into Fundy and we'll export for print. Exporting for print, honestly, it's just exporting high res images and that's it. After that, we will take them into KISS. We'll move um, we'll move their project over to KISS. And when I open Nick and Courtney's here, you'll see that I'm actually not importing individual photos, but I'm importing full album spreads. So instead of uploading 150 images and having to redesign in KISS, I exported the full on spread out and I'm only I'm, only, I'm pretty much just copying and pasting the full image onto the full spread. So if I were to move this, delete that. It's just a single image and that's it. So you can import all of the spreads that you exported out of Fundy into KISS and you order right from KISS. At this point, there's no more changing their, their album design. It is simply just deciding on the cover options. Um, we do not send them all of the options here. Instead, we'll send them, an, um, we'll send them to a link and this link contains uh, information about upgrading sizes. They can see some samples and they can see um, the most popular cover options. And these are the only ones that they know that we offer. We chose these options because we feel like they are the timeless options to choose from, that there's no crazy colors that in 50 years, these albums will still look up to date uh, and they won't look out of style or outdated. Um, and then they can add some extras on if they want to do that. Oftentimes we'll gift them with a free cameo cover and a free engraving. So it's $120 essentially for free that we're gifting them. And they appreciate that value that we're adding. Um, and it's what I talked about in an earlier episode of going above and beyond and under promise over deliver for your clients. So that's how we, that's how we send them the cover options. They'll let us know what to choose from. They'll say, I want shoreline. Um, and I want this image for my cameo window and Nick and Courtney 517 2019 looks good to me. So that's, that's the entire album process. Once they send that off, we'll send them a new invoice and we will, um, we'll get paid and then we'll ship off the album to printing and they'll ship it off. Kiss will drop ship the album directly to our client. They do have a wrapping option um, so they can physically hand wrap the album for your client and include a handwritten note. Um, that way it, it actually has a nice little personal touch as if it's coming directly from you. It does cost an extra $35, but it goes a long way, I think. So adding those little personal touches means a lot. Uh, so guys, that's the album process. Uh, this is something that we had to figure out for ourselves. And I believe that this is something you, you're going to have to figure out on your own as well. Try a whole bunch of different softwares, see what works for you. The more you can practice creating albums, the better you'll get. It's very much like editing photos and shooting photos. The more you practice, the better you'll get. So practice a lot and um, I promise it'll it'll become like second nature to you. I hope this was helpful, guys. If you're interested in Fundy Designer, you can check out the link in the description below. I promise it's worth every penny. 
especially if you're looking to sell more than just albums as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you're feeling generous, and maybe share this content with a friend who might find it valuable and helpful. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next video in this 30-day wedding photography crash course series.